And here we are now with analysis of our Ohio lawmakers from both sides of the aisle. We're joined by Republican State Senator Keith Faber and Democratic State Senator Joe Schiavone is with us. Uh, guys, good to see us. Uh, see you. All right. Thanks for having us. Well, Thank first you. of all, this doesn't really impact state workers as much as the local municipalities, right? And this right. is about what? A 10% contribution to their pension, 15% contribution to health care. Which is pretty much the standard for people in the in the in the private sector, right? Well, it's actually a much better deal than what people in the private sector get. In Ohio, uh, the average is about 31 percent of, of payments mm -hmm. for people in the private sector towards their health care, and we don't have guaranteed lifetime pensions in the private sector like we do in government. And so the benefit structure in the in the public sector for government employees is vastly better than it is for the same private sector employees. You know, it, it's the, you heard the governor. If this is voted down, this doesn't impact his budget. You know, state employees already make their contribu contributions, so municipalities, they're not going to get money from the governor and the legislature to pay for this. What happens if they, you know, they're going to have to lay off workers? It's, what are they going to have to do? The problem is with, with the bill is that it's overreaching and that it's unfair. You know, he talked about three little points, that, and you brought out three little mm -hmm. points. That's like five pages out of a 300 page bill. The bill takes away the ability for public employees to collectively bargain. Just, so if, <clears throat> so if, you know, we go back to um, what we have currently, the same things will continue to happen. Public employees are taking concessions, and they've done that to the tune of $250 million wait, wait, in the last what, few what's years. What's wrong with the contribution aspect that we just mentioned? Do you have a problem with that? No, and if that was the bill, that would be the discussion, but that's not the bill. It's about the, collective bargaining and about the rights, but ultimately, here's the problem. States, local government, federal government, municipalities, they're going bankrupt. Yeah. We don't have the, and the only way they're going to raise money is through taxes or firing or laying off right. people, right? I'm happy to hear Joe say that those three issues that you'll agree with. So you'll come back and, and co-sponsor that bill with me, right? I would look at the okay. legislation if that uh, was well, the well, bill. Say, but you, you say that all the time. You just, you wait, ask, wait a minute. You said you just said you'd support it if you, if it was the bill was those three issues. Would you support them or not? Yeah, we would definitely be okay. able to talk about them. that because most public employees already do that. And as okay. the ranking member on the committee, I'm the vice chairman. He's the ranking minority member. That's a bill that uh, hopefully we can work together. On. And that's the kind of process that we tried to do, and Joe didn't offer a single amendment after 20 hours of hearings. But again, coming back to the issue, one of the things Joe mentioned is just not true. This bill doesn't eliminate collective bargaining for government workers. Mm -hmm. It specifically, in the statute, preserves collective bargaining for wages, hours, and terms and conditions. And for safety forces... Not for it, benefits. Uh, no, it does for benefits, too. It just says you can't negotiate for less than paying 15% towards your health care, and you can't negotiate not to have to pay your 10% employee share right, towards so your guarantee. That being pension. the case, that's the same that most people in the private sector deal with. All right, same with me, same with every, every job I pretty much had. Well, it, considering the state that government is in now, why not have that provision that says, all right, everybody's got to pay it, and you can't go below that? That rate of contribution. Because again, that's just a small piece. That's why. Well, what six out of tell me what you oppose. Tell well, me why. Six out of 23 senator Republicans voted no on the bill. I'm not asking about that. Why, if that is the issue, yeah. why not just say you would support that and then maybe make it, you know, come up with a different bill? You can't do that right now. It's either yes on the whole thing or no I on the whole thing. I got it. That's the referendum. But would you support the legislation that we're talking about here? Would you support the provisions that would say you can't change that, that contribution? The 15%, 10%? The public You'd support it. The 15 percent health care. Would you care support it? Yes, I would look and talk to the people that it affects. Oh, you look and we very would happy. See what they already pay. I'm, I'm ecstatic. Most it's already pay it. That's the whole thing. And he's trying to make it just about those right. small and points. So they, but they won't be able to negotiate that down in the future. You support that for the health care. And yeah. what about pension? For the pension pickup, that's that's a different situation because a lot of employers you, you, use that right. use that so they don't have word. to give salaries. Well, those are those are very important parts, but there are other parts too. For example, we've got excessive time off provisions in local communities. There's one fire department just outside of Columbus that gets a three and a third months off paid time every single year. There's another provision called the cash payout at, upon retirement that cost the city of Cincinnati $93 million last year. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in mm -hmm. retirement payout to retiring government services for their accumulated time. Those are other things hopefully we can work on. I hope issue two uh, is, is upheld at the polls, but if it's not, Joe, I'm going to hold you to those you, commitments. Right. Well, you agree that that's not the, that's not the bill, though? No, that's, you keep that's talking the core of the bill. The, that's, that's the core of the bill. All right, we're going to let this debate continue. Guys, good to see you. And coming up